Did you know that not all back pain is a back problem? In fact, most back pain is not a back problem at all. Today, we're gonna to talk about why we treat all back pain as a back problem and how you can identify what is truly causing your back pain. Welcome back to the Muscle Repair Shop. My name is Butch Phelps and today we're going to talk about why back pain is not a back problem. I find it interesting that as people, whenever we have a back pain, for instance, we instantly go to treating the back. We may put on a back brace. We may sit with a heating pad on our back. We'll rub liniment on it and so forth. Even if we go to our doctor, our doctor will treat the pain by giving us painkillers and muscle relaxers maybe even injections in some cases, and then they'll send you to therapy, and then therapy will work on strengthening the back muscles themselves. And they're all with good intentions, and I get it, because even when I was going to school as a therapist too, the whole training was about treating symptoms. I mean, if somebody comes in for a massage, for instance, and they say, my back hurts, the first thing a massage therapist is gonna do is rub the back, okay? Because we're, nobody's really talking about, well, what actually caused that from happening. So it's been a training that we've had for more than 100 years in our health system, and so it's not surprising that people go that way, that's just what happens. So let's take a look at, looking at just the symptoms, why that's a big mistake versus looking for the cause. So when you're looking at the symptom again, you stand up, you sit down, you start to turn, move, or bend, and all of a sudden my back hurts, that's a symptom. When you're looking for causes, is that when I make that certain movement, because not every movement will maybe, maybe cause that pain, but when I make a certain movement, and you figure out what part of your body is, is as you move and you, you take that muscle and extend it, and all of a sudden you develop a pain or you contract it and you develop a pain, now we're looking at what's actually causing the pain to happen. Well now once you understand that, then the solution to it becomes very simple. So in other words, if I stand up and when I stand up and straighten my body up, my back hurts, but if I let my body go back to a position where it doesn't hurt, I'm in a sort of a, a bent shape as I'm standing there, well, then that tells me the muscles here and the muscles here are too tight. They're never going to hurt here. It's going to hurt back here, you see. And so it's a little mindset shift on your part. And hopefully over time, we can get mindset shifts on practitioners part as well to understand that nobody's going to come in and say, doc or, or Mr. Therapist, my, le my legs hurt here and, and that's causing my back pain to hurt. And so the thing is, is that they're going to come in and say, my back hurts. But it's understanding what movements are making that, that pain to happen there. So there are some things that you can do. Now, you don't have to be a doctor or a therapist to be able to start identifying what's causing your pain. And I'm only, we're going to go through some of that today so that you can take a look and, and have an idea of what's causing it. And then what I'll do is I'll put some links down below in the description for, for low back issues or for mid back issues, some stretches you can do there. Um, and then you can hopefully help yourself and not be in pain very long. I mean, that's ultimately that's what we all want, right? Is that to be in pain. So the thing is, is that when you first develop back pain, think about when does it hurt the most? What am I doing that causes the pain? And, and, how you know how how long does it last once i take myself out of that position an idea i'm sitting in a chair i have no back pain maybe it's a recliner you know me i'm not a big recliner fan but uh maybe you're in a recliner anyway i have no back pain so as long as i'm in that position my body's good now if i start to stand up and i'm okay if i'm bent halfway up coming up but once I get about 75% up to, to vertical to 100%, wow, does my back start to hurt at that point. And so now we can start to think about, all right, so what am I doing that will cause the pain to hurt? Standing up. 
What's the difference in me sitting down and standing up? The bend here, you see. And so if I'm sitting down and this is bent and I take the tension off the muscles here and here, I'm good. But the minute I stand up and I place tension in these muscles because now I'm vertical, that tells me that the pain is coming from this side of my body, you see. And so what happens is that as this gets tighter, because they attach into the pelvis, when you stand up straight, the pelvis tilts forward, which increases the compression on the back side of your lower back. The reverse is, if I'm sitting in a chair, and I can't wait to get up and stand up because the pain just gets more and more the longer I sit, that's the opposite effect. So when I'm sitting, the muscles on the back side of my thighs here, the hamstrings, are in a, a tightened position because I've extended them, you see. When I stand up, I take the pressure off of my hamstrings on the back side of my thighs, I have no back pain. So those are questions that you want to ask yourself so that you can start to quickly identify what's doing it. Same thing is true in the upper back. If you're getting pain between the shoulder blades, if your neck always feels stiff back here on the back side, I realize that the pain is back here. But I'm telling you, that's not the cause. You could be on a computer all day. You could be driving a lot. You could be doing a lot of weightlifting with your chest and so forth. And that's going to cause the shoulder surrounding because the outside chest muscles here will tighten on you, round your shoulders in, put the head forward, and that increases the compression on the spine between the shoulder blades. Also, it causes the muscles on the front of the neck to shorten as well. So those are things to look at as to if I stand up and, and as I stand up and I try to stand up straight and bring my shoulders back, even if you force it, it might feel good for a second, but then after a while, your back's going to tire out and you're just going, oh, I'm just tired. And you just let it go. So the thing you want to look at is where the pain is for muscles, the cause is almost always on the other side. Now, so, so don't fret. I'm going to put in, like I promised earlier, I'm going to put in the description box the, the stretches for the front of your thighs, the back of your thighs, and the calves for the low back tightness and pain that you may have. And I'm gonna put in the stretch for the outside chest and the front of your neck for the upper back for now. Now I do have other videos that will talk about back pain and standing up straight and all that. You can go and watch those as well and it'll give you some more additional information too. But for this one, I just really wanted you to get to understand that the muscles here tightening can set off pain between your shoulder blades. The muscles here tightening can set off pain in the back of, of, your, of your low spine. And so don't just run to where the site of the pain is. Take a moment. Think about when does it hurt the most? What am I doing when it hurts the most? And how long does it last once I come out of that? And that's the thing to always keep in mind. So for now, see ya. If you enjoyed that video, I've got two more over here to the left here that will follow up with this one. And don't forget to subscribe down below, ring the bell, and leave us some comments. I love comments.